Have you ever wondered about the history of firearms or who created them? Well, I'm here to inform you about the history of firearms and the interesting facts about them. Guns have improved significantly over the years of mankind. Earliest of firearms, uh, gunpowder is the number one thing you need for a firearm. And the, urge, the origin is unknown, but uh, they believe the creator was either in China, Turkey, or Europe. Gunpowder was created in the 9th century, and the powder is a combination of charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter. This creates a rapid combustion that throws an object out of a barrel. The fire lance was the first weapon to use gunpowder, and the Chinese invented it. This was created in the 10th century, and it was used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And as you can see in the picture, there's a spear, because the, the cylinder is uh, bamboo, and they put gunpowder in there, and bamboo. Uh, so it doesn't really go that far when they launch it. It's only good for a few feet. Uh, they also put uh, poison darts in there. Typically, it's usually uh, to scare the uh, enemy. Uh, the f that wasn't really classified as a firearm, but it's the first uh, weapon to use gunpowder. The first uh, firearm was created in the 13th century. and. It's a handheld cannon, and there's not many pictures that you can find of it. And a large, it's a large thick metal tube. Well, this is going back to tw uh, 50 years before this. A large thick metal tube is used to uh, launch a projectile, and they typically use a slow match. And this ignites the gunpowder, and it launches a projectile. And that's how a cannon works. But uh, the same concept applies for firearms. And that picture is a handheld firearm that the Chinese use. And they later uh, moved these inventions to the Middle East and Africa, and also Europe. And they're typically known as hand cannons or hand guns. And they're loaded in the same manner as a regular cannon, just a lot smaller. And this is when accuracy improved because The first gun that had a trigger mechanism is called the matchlock, and it was created in the early 1400s. And the serpentine is the hammer that is on top of it, and it holds a slow match. And when you pull the trigger, the slow match is a cord treated in uh, chemicals to keep it burning. When you pull the trigger, it goes into the flash pan that contains the gunpowder, and once that is ignited, the projectile shoots out. And it wouldn't make sense to hold, like when they had cannons, it wouldn't make sense to hold a rope that's burning and try and like shoot the enemy. So it's This is another picture in like a 
how it works. And the next ignition system is a wheel lock. This was created in the 1500s, and it's much more complex. Typically, people could not afford this item, so war never really saw it. And also, it was mainly for like people with a lot of money, and they would go hunting with it because <coughs> the slow match, it smells, and typically animals would smell it, and you would never be able to get an animal. And same thing goes with the enemy. The enemy would smell it and see you before. And this gun used, this ignition system used uh, pyrite or flint. And when it hits the steel next to the pan, it creates a spark. And this also has a cover for the pan so it doesn't get wet in inclement weather. And this also is similar to a cigarette lighter. See the cylinder that has the circle? That uh, spins, so when you pull the trigger, it spins when the, flit, uh, when the flint or pirate hits it. And it just, it's just like a cigarette lighter. Next one is flint locks or the McKelp. Following the wheel lock, they use the same ignition system source, which is flint or pyrite, and it, it strikes against steel to provide the spark. However, the wheel was discontinued with the flint lock, and this was created <coughs> in the 1560s, and then in the 1580s, they changed it slightly. And this uses, uh, when the hammer comes down and the prison opens, it creates a spark and the pan opens also when it's coming down, so you don't have rain getting in there. And with all these types of guns, there's always uh, misfires, which people commonly call it a flash in the pan because the pan doesn't ignite to go to the barrel. the guy who started making these. Uh, Mastro Bar Bartholomew Beretta is the master gun maker. He started his company in 1526. He started his business just by a simple order of 185 barrels. And this company is the oldest manufacturing company that's still around in this world today. And here's a video of the flint lock being shot.
next slide. Escape. Escape. But if I click it again, won't it? Oh, yeah, like. And this is another example of how the flip flop works when you just follow the video. And then improvements in accuracy happened around this time, uh, mainly because they started using iron sights and the archery. The archery, uh, people that used feathers uh, found that when they were tilted, it would go in a circle and be very more accurate. So they started rifle wars. And that also applies the same thing to the projectile being shot out.